YouTube, how you doing? Today we're gonna do a Mac OS 1086 project. And what is the 86? Well, the 86 stands for the hardware that we're gonna use and the platform. It will be a x86 platform. And how is this possible? Well, at a certain moment, Mac decided to use Intel processors. And you know, when they made that step, they also came a little bit closer to um, let Mac OS X OS X be installed also on not Apple hardware. Uh, Apple hardware, is there such a thing as Apple hardware? Um, well, you can better call it Apple chosen hardware because in fact all hardware is hardware and uh, yeah, a processor is a processor, chip is a chip and if you can port an operating system to it then you know it will just run on it it's just a matter of getting it you know to run on it so we're gonna install a Mac on the Acer 5310 it's a very old computer it doesn't even have a battery I got the thing really really cheap and I got it laying around but it in fact it's a perfect Mac and that's what you're gonna see in this video today we're booting up and let's take a look okay there she is that's it the Acer 5310 we inserted the DVD we're gonna install 10.5.7 and then after that we're gonna update to 10.5.8 this is uh, the bootloader and we're just gonna hit enter and the machine will start booting the installer so um, of course we're using a bootloader there and Darwin is being started so we're gonna boot up and soon we will get into the screens where we will have to make some choices so until then I'm gonna get back to you there we are here we will choose our language so there we are in the next step here on top you will something see you will see something that is saying utilities you cannot read it too good because oh yeah there you can read it we go to utilities and we go to disk utility many apple users will know this part And this is IDENIP or IDENIP. So thumbs up to all the guys that worked on this project. It's a very old project. And this is just for testing guys. Uh, you know, it's just for testing. This is just to keep up with things that we don't forget. So up here we go to the drive, we select the drive, in your case it might be a drive with more partitions, just select the drive, go to Arrays here on top, and then here select to create a Mac OS X journal partition, and then hit Arrays. Okay, and in fact, it's saying partition map scene is a master boot record, and uh, that is just fine. That is just it's just good because this is Mac OS X journal. Da, 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 da. This is just fine. So we're gonna quit this here, and then we're gonna continue. Here we agree. We select the drive, we hit continue. And now we're gonna hit customize. Okay, so I want you to take a good look here and try to write down what I'm doing. I then up essential system system or essential system is selected. Okay. Now we're gonna hit bootloader we're gonna choose for the chameleon 2 bootloader fix acpi ss2 fix ps2 old for 
the keyboard and the mouse firewire remove uh, Apple SM bias uh, enabler inject must be used with original Apple SM bias with this fix will come installed Apple SM bias uh, if you select this drive uh, you okay, don't come back so we remove firewire um, SD and SD H drive this thing has a SD card um, drive seat belt fix Fudu battery manager but we have no battery in this thing but we might one day get a battery so we can select it but in fact it's not needed now well, I'm just gonna select it because you should select it if you have a battery in your computer. Uh, Fudu power, uh, CPU, CP, CPU, M, PM control, and Fudu power kext. For kernels, I would go for the Goops kernel. You know, I always rely on this kernel, it's a pretty good kernel. For drivers, for the audio, you can go for Fudu, it will work. The chipset, the chipset will be an AH. For the chipset, we will not choose this, what I choose in the video. We will go down and choose for IC, where is it? ICHX fix. You see that there? That's what you must choose. Okay, very important. Otherwise, the system won't work. And. For wireless, I'm gonna go for the Broadcom because I have a Broadcom card in here. And for video, very important, in here we have the Intel X3100. There it is, GMAX3100. So these are the settings that we choose. I hope you wrote them down. Otherwise, just pause the video to get the settings. These are these settings are specific for the Acer 5310. Okay, and for this distribution from Identet. Okay, so now we must just keep our fingers crossed and hope that we made the right choices for this. It, it's been a while, you know. Um, in fact, I don't really install uh, Mac OS 10. 86 this way anymore this is how we used to do it old school way you know you, you you had to really know a lot about settings and things like that now in fact people just use some um yeah some tool it's called uh, my hack and with my hack and with hacking tosh vietnam tool you can also get you know your drivers and create a complete usb stick uh, that will boot up and will do all the things that you want it to do But in fact, this is the old-school way how we used to install it on old computers old laptops Yeah, fantastic. Look at that Took about 35 minutes Or maybe it was 25. I don't know. I Just did some push-ups Gonna reboot. At this point, you remove the DVD. We're gonna boot up. Just gonna hit enter. And uh, seeing the little hard drive there blinking is a good sign. Very good sign. And if we did it right, we will be welcomed like on a real neck there we go mouse and we should get a splash screen now
do it is. Beautiful. So here we're just gonna select our language or our location. US not transfer we hit next and we get a stock up oh select a wireless device okie do the system is running and up and uh, well in fact if you did the settings just like how I told you then everything will work in my case uh, in this installation I uh, made a little mistake that I corrected uh, when we uh, were in the customization part I uh, corrected it in this video and I told you what you should choose it was the ICHX uh, you should choose and uh, nothing else and if you choose what I showed you in the video then the system will be running and up Wi-Fi will work everything will work like a charm and here you can see it's uh, recognized as Intel 2 core so low so yeah 2 gigabytes of RAM 1.6 gigahertz processor no big deal in fact this is an old laptop that uh, we tested today with Leopard Idenup 10.5.7 okay the system is running and up and I would like to show it to you I did it once again but then the right way the way I showed it in this video you know choosing the right settings and then it started up and it looked really fantastic so let's take a look at that okay there you can see it I, I, I'm, I'm always watching Bonanza I love Bonanza I think you know everyone should watch Bonanza there are hundreds of them on YouTube so I'm gonna pause this but let me show you the system how it looks uh, it's really good uh, you see that the Wi-Fi is working here we have Wi-Fi stations you see that um, in fact we have everything everything works uh, about this Mac Intel Core 2 Solo 2 gigabytes of RAM more info of course I'm hoping that you can read that there was an error gathering this information so <laughs> It's not all uh, fantastic, but it works. And we have sound, we have Wi-Fi, and our screen resolution is just fine. Let me show that to you, because that is also important, the screen. This thing has the X3100 uh, GMA950, I think it's also called. Uh, here you can see I have all resolutions that I can choose from. It's 1280 by 800. So this is a fantastic system. I say mission, successful okay peeps that was it um this was for testing and for learning purposes only so you know i'm not gonna keep this system but you know i'm gonna do some testing and see how good it runs and how bad and etc I, I must say the sleep works it's not uh, blowing uh, any it's not hot at all it's just warm temperature is about 45 to 50 degrees so i think that's really good for old celeron peeps thanks again for watching if you like this project please like subscribe and love to see you in my next video again